The yeas are 98, the nays are two. The bill is passed. The sanctions bill spawned a rarity in Congress, genuine overwhelming bipartisanship. We will not tolerate attacks on our democracy. That's what this bill is all about. The sanctions target vast swaths of Russian President Vladimir Putin's power base. Mandatory sanctions are included in this legislation in regards to the energy sector, the financial sector, intelligence and defense sector. A completely weird and unacceptable piece of legislation. We will retaliate. Don't do this. Moscow has ordered a reduction of U.S. diplomatic personnel in Russia. The deputy foreign minister says Russia was in contact with people close to President Trump last year, as were many countries, but that nothing improper took place. If Ambassador Kislyak was not contact, contacting some people uh, on the other side, so to say, he wouldn't perform his functions as he should. He was not spying and he was not recruiting. If he did so, I would be now a prima ballerina of the Bolshoi Ballet. Such assertions fall on deaf ears on Capitol Hill. Mr. Putin and his allies have not suffered serious repercussions for this stunning breach of our right as a sovereign nation not to have our elections disturbed by a foreign capital. That all changes today. The sanctions also target North Korea after its latest missile launch. We have more work to do to stop the crazed Kim regime. In China, there are over 5,000 businesses still doing business with North Korea. China is responsible for 90 percent of the North Korean economy. Iran is also targeted for non-nuclear activities, including its ballistic missile program and support for international terrorism. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.